demon's blessing. Dyer's middle tower is under attack. It was everyone else's to hold you. You become feast for the flesh plant. No. No. You're no. the no. Triple kill! Fall before a lesson. Dyer's bottom shrine is under attack. Dyer's bottom shrine is under attack. Monster killing! Dyer's bottom shrine is under attack. The, uh, but I know Song's reasonably long, 120 seconds at that time, and Black Hole as well, so I wouldn't be surprised if Dyer, like I said, try and get the lanes pushed in. It's looking okay right now for them. Rainier actually the ones to get aggressive here. Ninja Boogie's gonna get scouted out. Velo with the initiation. They'll be able to bring him down. Orchid on the wyvern here. Thick the Doom out as well. Storm's gonna be careful. Thick the Raccoon is gonna burst here. Storm drops as well. Two dead on Rainier. They're gonna try and close the distance. Malifus holding Velo back, but we'll get the blink up shortly. They get the Storm Raging Potato as well, but they want more than that. Can they find the big kill on Arjun? Fernal Blade's gonna be there. They follow up with the Burrow Strike as well. And it looks like Arjun's gonna get brought down. They're gonna try and turn their attention to Raging Potato as well. Faded gets the kill. A great fight for the die side. Interesting positioning from Raiden, getting a little bit too aggressive there. So still the cores on Dyer are incredibly fine, but I'm just worried if they don't scale. Nothing to say went for a Yule Scepter. That's going to further help with the uh, with the catch, so you can Yule Scepter and then gives Velo some time to find the Storm Spirit or anyone for that matter. They'll find Ninja Boogie instead. War Stomp with the Burrow Strike follow-up as well. We can't get... The blast off off in time, but they're gonna song. They're all grouped up here. They'll find the wyvern on the side. It's gonna be a two-man black hole once again. He pops it. KB. No way to cancel it. Regardless, it's gonna be another two heroes down. And on the side, Storm Spirit actually. He's gonna be careful. His lower men are nothing to say. Does he have enough damage from the razors? Triple will be there. Shadow Fiend able to find a solo kill on the storm. Looks. Top tower 
Well, forcing rotations up top, they will be able to get the tier 2 tower. Kivello's going to be careful as well, because, I mean, Radiant are rotating over. They have the ward on the high gun. They're going to run straight into Ninja Boogie here. Moon is in the area. They'll get the blink forward instead. They're going to turn their attention to the Wyvern. and the Ice Path will drag him straight back into it. Also as well, a lot of damage onto the Doom, thanks to Ninja Boogie's remote mines here. Pops a BKB. Velo will be fine. Do they want to zip afterwards? However, Rage Battalion is going to blink already. War Stomp holds an Arger in place. They will get the song as well. They're not all grouped up. It might be enough, however. KP is going to pop the ultimate. Now Winter Wyvern is not there to cancel. Nothing to say. Can't do anything as well. Just watch his cause fall. They get the zap as well. They're pulling back. Epicenter. Here it comes. A lot of damage, but is it going to be enough? Because they got the grief. Shadow Fiend's going to fall. He does have buyback. They're going to turn their attention to the Sand King. Velo with the blink fall. He's got the Doom, but the he's got Aegis and Lincolns. It doesn't matter. They'll turn their attention to the Naga, so the Doom is there. It's a triple kill for Arj. Did they lose the Naga? The Ravage up in 50, they're gonna be careful. And how do you deal with the refraction charges? I mean, there's really no way. Chains on the back line holding them in place. They're able to scout it as well, thanks to the lightning bolt. Velo, incredibly tanky though. They're gonna go for the epicenter. Can they blow everything up on the TA? And they will be able to. Ages down KP. Two man roof stomp. They're gonna try and find the Sand King as well. Will the false promise be enough to keep him alive? They dropped the Nimbus. Arjun with the BKB. However, Velo has this decrep, but don't think it's gonna be enough. Moon straight on top of him. We'll have a buyback. He's gonna rejoin the fight instantly. Ravage up in 20. Cheese now in the hands of Moon once again here. KP, they find Lycan in the side, however, BKB, can he get enough? He doesn't even have it in time. Lycan, they've got no saves. Epicenter, they actually stun. It's onto two with the bow strike. Now, Moon pops his own BKB. They're going to turn their attention to Velo. It's a triple kill for Moon. A buyback coming through from the Sand King, but it's not going to be enough. Velo, he does have the ultimate. A lot of damage onto this Centaur. It's not going to be enough. A nice two-man stun. They get the Nimbus out as well. Winter's got to be careful. Bow strike on three. They get the Ravage as well. It's going to connect on four here, but where's the follow-up? It's just not there. They're all too tanky. Winter is going to get brought down. It's three dead on Radiant. And the G's have dropped so Maneski. They're going to qualify. They will move on to the Star Ladder Minor. Congratulations to them. And...